I started my journey with the Cantu Foundation as running and raising money for cancer research and prevention was a really positive thing for me. My mum fell sick with cancer after she retired. It was tragic watching her work hard and not be able to enjoy her time off. She beat non-Hodgkin's lymphoma in 1996, then five years ago the cancer returned. Mum was in hospital for 15 months, coming out for only four weeks, with six weeks of it spent in coma in ICU. When she passed away, I struggled with not just losing someone I love so much, but having to watch mum and what she went through. It was very traumatic. I signed up with Cantu to use my personal challenge to run a marathon to create a better future for everyone affected by cancer. While the Cantu Foundations are experts in training runners, it's not why they exist. They believe that every one of us has the power to reduce the impact of cancer for ourselves, the people we love and the world. So I put my trust in Cantu to turn me into a marathoner. The program was what I needed to get me through the grieving stage. If you'd asked me 20 years ago if I would run a marathon, I would have laughed at you. People think long distance running comes easy to me. It doesn't. I was a sprinter and went to three Olympics, which I'm really proud of. I used to run really fast over short distances, but I could never jog. I used to see people jog and I wished I could do that. So I joined Cantu and I had to start at the beginning, just like everyone else. I would alternate running and walking for five minutes each and over the time the walks got shorter and the runs got longer. It makes you accountable and keeps you motivated. I made some great friendships and I feel blessed to be part of the community.